Well, right now, a college student from Omaha is busy training. She's getting ready for the Paralympics in Tokyo in August. She'll race in two wheelchair track and field events. In today's Positively the Heartland, I talked to Eva and two people who are very proud of her. A banner outside the Houston home in Omaha beams with family pride. The minute I got her, her uh, FaceTime, I, I grabbed Vicki and I was like, okay, here's Eva. And she's like, you guys together? And she's like, I made the team. And, you know, we all screamed. 20-year-old Eva Houston will compete in Tokyo in the Paralympics in August. She's at University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign on a track scholarship. Illinois is one of the most adaptive schools in the country, maybe even the world. Eva has cerebral palsy and has used a wheelchair since she was a child. She was interested in sports at an early age, basketball and softball, then realized track using a specialized racing wheelchair was an option. I saw a commercial with an athlete just training and I was like, what is that? You know, it was a really awesome chair and I just knew that I wanted to get in and try it. I would be hard to find an athlete in my 20 years that I've coached that that put in more work, that, you know, committed to something more than her. Oh. I'm going to literally try to beat her. John Preister was her Westside High School track coach. He says learning the sport of wheelchair racing was an adventure for all of them. She'd be smiling as, as we'd be telling her these workouts. And, you know, a lot of athletes would be like, what, you want me to do, do what? That's going to be really hard. And, you know, she just kept going. And she kept putting in the work, committed to making it on Team USA. I don't think I thought it was possible yet, but it was definitely the dream. And I remember a high school practice when I went to my coach, John Pricer, and I was like, Tokyo's in two years. And I remember him saying, like, we'll get you there. She's qualified in both the 100 meter and the 800 meter. She's ranked fifth in the world in the 800, so a medal is within reach. She works so hard, you know, um, she's never let anything stop her and this has this drive that I don't know where she gets it. Her dad shows that drive when it comes to being a dad. Good news, dad. Um, the band director says that I get to march in marching band and you get to push me. And I was like, oh, OK. You may remember stories about them when Eva was in the West Side High School marching band. It was going to every pep rally, parade and football game, but I wouldn't change it you know, for the world. This time, though, with fans not allowed, Eva's family won't be able to see her compete in the Paralympics in person. I'll stay up until 3 in the morning if I have to. If, if I can see it live, that's what I'm going to do. And Eva realizes others will be watching, too. I love the idea of maybe a younger athlete or just somebody who hasn't ever tried wheelchair sports before to see that this is possible. Um, I often say that sports changed my life. And for all elite athletes to be represented on the world stage. So Eva competes in late August. She hopes to get a personal record. She says a medal would be great, but she isn't expecting that and really just wants to enjoy the whole experience yeah. meeting the athletes. Also cool, she'll be doing the Boston Marathon mm. in fall. I mean, so she can do the long distances, which is pretty incredible. She is a great, and fifth in the world right now. Right, exactly. In the world. So yeah, she she said she wants a personal record. That's number one, and she wants to try some really good sushi. So <laughs> I think she can get both of those. I think she can. Yeah, she's going to experience it. Just grab the gold while she's there too. Yeah, right? I know. That's the luck. We'll all be watching and rooting for sure.